Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, I've received an email and this person has asked me about stigmata. What is it? And I'm just reading the question. What are stigmata wounds? Who gets it? Why do they get it? And what happens to them after they get it? So let's have a look first at what is stigmata. Stigmata is related to the life of Jesus. We have to go back 2000 years in history to look at Jesus and I'll do this very quickly. Okay, quick history lesson. Jesus came out as the son of God. The Roman Catholics didn't, um, their Catholic leaders at the time, the government didn't like Jesus. So they put a rose of thorn on his head because ha ha ha, they were laughing at him saying, you want to be the king of the people? Let's put you a, a, a crown on your head. They made him carry the cross out to the field where they nailed him to the cross after whipping him, etc. So he had some injuries that day on the day that he died. Stigmata is what happens to people where they get those injuries that occurred to Jesus. They can come up as marks, spots, brands. They can appear on the hands here or here. They can appear on the wrists, both sides of the wrists, where Jesus was nailed to the cross. They can appear on the feet, where Jesus had the nails put through his feet. They can appear as um, where whipping has occurred, where, how awful would that be? <laughs> you know, because you wouldn't be um, able to look after that. You know, you'd need somebody else to look after <laughs> if you were having whip marks on your back and it was bleeding, right? So it can, and people also have had marks come up on their forehead, like the thorn um, crown that Jesus wore. So most cases throughout history that have had this stigmata have all been Roman Catholic people. What is the coincidence of that? Huh. So let's go there. The first person ever recorded to have a stigmata was St. Francis of Assisi and he lived from 1182 till 2012-26. He was the first one that got it. There's stories out there of what happened to him but we must remember they're only stories at this point. So as we travel through history and we come forward towards the 20th century, we've got two cases that I'd like to talk about today where these people have not only lived in our current times, but their injuries were recorded and verified as being true. The first one was a gentleman by the name of, bear with me, it's spelt Z-L-A-T-K-O, Zlatko Sudak. S-U-D-S-U-D-A-C. Now he was born in 1971 so he's five years younger than me so there's a good chance he's still out there if we go Google him. So it's Z-L-A-K-A-T-K-O and S-U-D-A-C. He was born on April, um, he was born in 1971 and his stagmata started on April 7th 1999. He actually got a red cross came up on his forehead. So he decided to go off and become a priest where he was showing people his injury, this red cross on his forehead. He actually went into hospital and they tested it and they said it was not done to his skin. It was a result of his skin. Ooh. So it wasn't like a tattoo or some sort of pen <laughs> to do it. Hello, hang on, I'll just make this little red X on my forehead. No, it wasn't like that, okay? So he started having psychic abilities. <whistles> Let's go there. This guy could start reading souls. Huh. This guy 
could start doing by location, which means appearing in two places at the same time. And it was all documented. I'm going to have to do some more research on this guy and see if he's still out there. <laughs> oh, wow. He was born in Croatia, okay? So I'll just spell his name again if you do want to go research him. Z-L-A-T-K-O. S-U-D-A-C. So while this is uploading, I'm going to go do some research and see if I can put some links below on what he is and what he could do, okay? So then before him, back in 1991, November, we have Father Bruce, Father James Bruce, B-R-U-S-E. This guy went to his family home and in the house they had a statue of the Virgin Mary. And when he went near it, the statue started to weep water out of its eyes. Huh. So he thought that was a little bit weird, as you would. So he went away and the weeping stopped. And he came back and the weeping started again. So he went to a church walked up to the statues and all the sta all the statues started crying as well. So this guy was making statues that are probably hundreds of years old in a church. They all started weeping water or blood from their eyes. Huh, how could you create this, you know, back in the 1990s, you know, special effects weren't as good as they are now, right? So, a month, so this started in November 1991, where he was making statues cry. A month later, just after Christmas, so we're now talking December 1991, he started getting the pains in his wrist, and then the blood started coming out of a hole. So he was bandaging them up and they couldn't stop the blood coming out. But we've got to remember here, guys, people have, who have the stigmatis, they don't lose blood. It's not like it's their blood. You know, there are some over time where they say, yes, this guy needed a blood transfusion, etc. Or if you look at that certain movie out there, um, oh, can't remember the guy in it, but it was a guy and a girl and the girl got the stigmata. Okay, there is a movie out there if you want to comment that for me because it's off the top of my head at this point. If I find it, I'll put the link below so you can go research that movie. But just remember it is Hollywood and they um, exaggerate stories. Okay, so what happens with this stigmata? Most cases of stigmata, it's like a physical gift, an awakening. To show people. Some of these people that have had the stigmata over history, they are just people, random people like you and I. They are random people who start bleeding to get attention to them. So then they start to heal. They start to have psychic abilities. And most of all, they bring people to the church. So there is a lot of um, sarcasm. There's a lot of criticism to people who have had stigmatas over the years because, one, a lot of people turn to religion after they see it. They say, oh, my God, now it's true. I must believe in this. OK, so is the church doing this deliberately to bring in the numbers? You know, that type of thing. OK, but. How do we then dispute these people have now got all these abilities like bilocation and levitation and healing powers? Crazy, but it's not crazy, okay? All right? As someone who's a psychic and I've got gifts, I could imagine the gifts that these people get after they've had the stigmata, okay? All right, so what is it? It's basically religious in the Roman Catholic religion but other people you know there's been an atheist who got the stigmata but boy how fast did the Roman Catholics jump on that one uh, <laughs> this is mine 
um, <laughs> type thing, right? We need this guy. <laughs> we need this guy in our church. <laughs> God, you're going to laugh at this because it is a very serious situation, right? Imagine the pain. You know, if you had like knives and stuff going into your wrist every day with all this blood coming out, that would be really painful. If you had the feelings of that you would be whipped on your back, you know, that would be extremely painful with all that blood coming out of your back, etc. I can imagine the headache that you'd get from having this, pa this pain on the top of your head. So it's not something to be laughed at, okay? And most of all, it's not laughable what happens to these people after they get it. They all have psychic abilities. Huh. Huh. So I got asked a very, very important question from my own daughter. <laughs> oh, my God. My daughter just asked me, because she heard me researching this and I went in to tell her what stigmata is, and she said, Mum, are these people reincarnated? How cool is that of my daughter, who's just turned 16 last week? She asked me, are these the reincarnated people that hurt Jesus? And now they're getting it as karma. How do we know? You know, how do we know if that's not true? Because... You know, we've got to be philosophers here and think of all the different theories as to why this occurs, okay? There's a lot of different theories as to why this occurs. So that's a damn good one from my 16-year-old, I nearly said 15, 16-year-old daughter this morning. Wow, she's a smart one, okay? So is it reincarnation? Is it that these people are the same souls, as the souls that walked around the planet 2,000 years ago. And now they're getting karma. Huh. Are they somehow related to those people? Huh. Could it be like DNA, blood genetics? You know how some people say we always get reincarnated into the same families, like a soul family? Huh. Could it be totally randomised where this stigmata happens to the chosen ones because they unconsciously, subconsciously or even consciously said at some point, I want to do God's work. I want to do the work of the angels. I want to do the work of the universe. Whichever way you put that slant on it, I want to do the work for them. You know, like my girl them so have they actually had that intention did they do that when they did their life contract did they set it up as a life lesson whoa life lessons what could we learn from healing others how to be um compassionate how to be giving how to do self-sacrifice because look at all the pain they go through so there is a lot of lessons that these people do go through correct could it be their life path to their own enlightenment? Well, that's pretty obvious because all these people, you know, you listen to the names, Slat, Zlatko Zudak, he's now a priest. And then we have Father James Bruce, who wasn't a, who, who wasn't a father before he got his stigma. Stigmata, okay? St. Francis of Assisi back in 1182, was he a priest before he started bleeding from his hands? Interesting. I think I've just opened a big can of worms here. Uh, if you have questions, please look through the other comments and, you know, comment to other people. Yeah, let's get the um, ball going here is what you believe is stigmata. But ultimately, we do have evidence that it does exist. It is real. And we do have the evidence that supports that these people are just normal, everyday people who, after their stigmata, get psychic abilities to do their work. Food for thought, guys. What do you think? Talk to you all soon. Bye.
To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.